Hi everyone, and welcome to part two of uh, of uh, create HTML, the fastest, uh, the simplest, and the dirtiest. Okay, uh, never mind. It's a stupid title anyway. Um, the today's topic is table. How to create a table? Uh, and fortunately, if you know HTML, you probably know this is a very difficult task because inside this tag table, you need to add uh, uh, tr, which is uh, stand for table row, and inside the inside the row, you need to add uh, a data cell or a table data cell TD, and inside one row you have to uh, repeatedly you have to repeatedly add more uh, uh, data uh, data cells. And when you finish all the data cells in one row, you create another row another row, and you repeat the whole process again, which is not fun. This is not fun thing to do. So the easiest way is to create table is I need you to go to Office, uh, uh, go, uh, Microsoft Office Excel 2007. Uh, okay, uh, Excel 2007 and just give me a second here. I need you, I need to some time. Okay, let me type something. Um, okay, I'm going to type, uh, this is a Druji roster for November 2006 at HRPZ. Uh, this is my old hospital, that's why it is 2006. And I put my name and my boss, Dr. Mahani, and also my best friend, Dr. Amin. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create this uh, uh, duty, roster, uh, duty roster for uh, with the week working working days in uh, in Clanton. Uh, in Clanton, uh, it is uh, Friday and Saturday are the weekends, while Sunday is a working day. And uh, with simple touch here and there, you still need some experience in Excel to do this, All right? So I can from here you can add colors to the cells and this one make it green and of, uh, of course in each table you need to put some borders right right here and click the border right well that's not it wasn't that easy you need some experience in excel to do to do this now one day i was i was wondering what happened if i highlighted like this and i copied the entire table and i tried to paste it inside browsers okay so i tried why not just try it so I copied this table, I went to Firefox, using Firefox 3.5.2, uh, I tried to paste, okay, uh, this is the, tab uh, the table, okay, just for dramatic effect, and control, click, uh, right button and paste, and voila, well, it's not really what I want, but you can fix this, uh, you just click on edit HTML, you look at the word table, okay, uh, if, uh, if, if you cannot uh, locate the word table, you just go again, you uh, use your, uh, your find, uh, find tool, and uh, look for the word table, next, okay, there it is, okay, this is the, this is the tag for table, and you just add the word uh, ta border, equal, quotation mark, and put Number two, okay. The, the higher number, the thicker the border, okay. Then voila, there it is. Okay, from there, from this, uh, from this, uh, from this uh, table, you can add the uh, uh, color for the for the cell, like this. And so, if you highlight uh, multiple cells like this, and uh, you can change it to purple color. And for the columns, different color, less green, right? Okay, as simple as that. Now, here's a nice trick. You will notice that there is some symbols here. There's a triangle, uh, two triangles, and one uh, round object. So if you click here, you add more. You can add more, more rows and more uh, cells. If you click on the round object, it will uh, uh, simply delete the entire row and or the entire column. Okay. And uh, from there, also you can notice that uh, you can play with certain values. Border, you can increase the border uh, value. The cell padding is the distance between uh, between the words and uh, the border itself. So it's just three pixels. Let me see the effect here. You can see it been, has been pushed away slightly from from uh, its edges. And also you can control whether it puts um, cent center of the cells or right or left, whatever. Okay. And it is functioning. It is working. You just click here and uh, right, uh, select all and copy it. Okay, and you paste it in the reply. Okay, and whatever uh, whatever the browser you're using, whether you, uh, it, it will look the same, almost the same in Inter uh, Internet Explorer and Safari, Apple Safari, and so on. Now here's another example. I'm going to copy the same table, and this time I'm going to paste it inside the Internet Explorer 7. And let's see what will happen. Control V. Okay, there it is. It is in exact uh, identical to the to the original table that I have created on Excel. Okay, now let's see in Safari. 
Now, the problem in Safari, it's kind of, it is the most disappointing actually, because uh, it's not it's not creating the table I was hoping for. But but uh, don't give it, uh, don't give up yet, because you still can save if you save uh, the uh, the tutorial. You just go to the beginning of the table and you just add uh, t lesser than table space border okay equal and just put a number let's say num uh, number three okay and you just close the tag and three pixels okay and uh, let's see what will happen voila there's a table right in front of you now the problem in both safari apple safari and internet explorer you cannot really you cannot edit uh, the color of the cells on spot you still need uh, to do it manually inside the HTML, okay, which is uh, kind of downside here, okay, and you c but you only you only have some limited choices of what you can do in Apple Safari. All right, uh, okay, now this uh, topic is done. I'm going to move on to another topic, uh, boxes, okay. Some people are ask, uh, asking me how the hell did I create these boxes? Okay, this is a very simple trick. A lot of you, a lot of you know about this, but some of you do not, do not know about this. So just bear with me, okay? All right. Uh, first of all, what I need you to do is uh, just type xxx triple x, okay? And now you go and click on the edit HTML and locate the triple x again. If you cannot find it, you just use the find engine or the search engine and just type xxx and immediately the browser will take you where it is okay now uh, don't delete the triple x instead i want you to add something before it i want you to add a, a tag called div all right and you add another tag after it with, but with uh, slash forward div okay let's see what happened well nothing much happened okay let's go back again now in the div i want you to add style equal uh, quotation mark then you just type background yellow and uh, borders uh, two pixels red solid and the padding for three three pixels and close quotation mark and wait 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 padding background what 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 come on guys you know this you uh, okay you still need some basic knowledge about css codes for example this example uh, I have this my fried chicken uh, syntax. The background is yellow. The border is two pixels red and solid. Padding is three pixel. This is the basic CSS code, uh, CSS or 101. But if you go to HTML, you just rearrange from the vertical uh, the arrangement to the horizontal arrangement. That's what, that's what I did. And uh, don't forget the quotation mark and you close the tags. All right. From there, you just delete the tri uh, triple X, and you can write whatever you want, whatever you need inside that box. Okay. Now, some people are asking, uh, ask, ask me how to create this uh, uh, this uh, scroll scroll bar. Now, the idea of scroll bar is uh, okay. This is just now what I did, just an uh, example just now. Okay, you can see uh, background border padding. Now, I'm going to add another property. I'm going to add property height. Okay. Height 200. So what happened is the bo uh, the the size of the uh, the size of the box has been shrinked upward, okay? Because its height is only 200 pixels. But the problem is the the list is too long, so it is over it, it is flowing out from the box, or it is overflow problem, okay? In this case, some people will add the condition overflow. In the case of overflow, put a scroll bar, all right? Overflow scroll. Okay, and again with a horizontal arrangement inside the HTML, all right? You will get something like like this, all right? Simple, quick, all right? Okay, I'm I'm down in the my in my last minute, so okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to delete the whole thing, okay? Uh, delete. Okay, I'm going to type triple X again, okay? And I'm going to uh, put another another div uh, tag here. And also after it, uh, slash forward, div, close it. Now, okay, now instead of a style, I'm going to type class equal box. All right. You see, there are, there are settings inside multiply. Uh, for example, for this, for the word, for the class box, this, it will create this nice gray box and uh, which have this gr nice gray gradient from the top to the bottom. Okay, the video quality is slightly low, but, but you got the idea. The other one, uh, the other class you can add is quartet. You just type quart quote and then you just add another t and instead of the vert uh, vertical gradient it will add a nice 
present the gradient. Okay, thank you for listening. Uh, thank, you, thank you for watching this video and uh, see you. Take care. Okay. Bye. Okay. Pam, pam, pam.